Hello friends, I am back with the tutorial about the video that I have implemented few months back about controlling the home appliances with the help of your Android phone. Uh, with the help of a uh, feature called voice recognition method. So if you haven't watched the earlier video, uh, I am providing the uh, link to the video in the i button over there. So uh, please do watch the video before watching the tutorial of this project so it will be very clear uh, about understanding how this project is uh, working. So let's get started how this works. So you just need to have some basic knowledge related to uh, the Arduino ID coding part and uh, connecting the hardware uh, components such as relay and uh, fan regulator and these are the few uh, basic components which, which we will use and uh, these are the components uh, that we have used so you will be uh, we will use 8 channel relay board uh, if you uh, want to understand how it works then please uh, watch the video that I have uh, done earlier about uh, uh, connecting a relay board so uh, I have used an uh, old uh, fan regulator so I have removed this manual switch and replaced with uh, four relays to control the fan speed and uh, this is the ESP8266 mode MCU model and uh, uh, yes you need to uh, you need some jumper voice like male to male and female to female uh, jumper voice and uh, let's come to the coding part so okay so first of all you need to uh, uh, pop, uh, copy this code into your Arduino ID software okay so uh, here you need to provide your Wi-Fi uh, ID and password. Here I have defined the UPIO pins uh, and defined it in output mode and initiated into a low signal, uh, low signal. And uh, <clears throat> this portion of the code, uh, what it does is simply connects to the Wi-Fi network until it uh, is not connected to a network it will simply print a dot dot message and when it is connected it will uh, display a message that wi-fi and network is connected so after connecting it will start a server so this function defines to start the server and uh, we want to uh, uh, get the ip address of the esp266 so this function uh, displays the IP address of node MCU. So we will run a loop and uh, uh, for a particular request from the HTML page, uh, we will get in the form of a request in the form of a string uh, data type. So we will store it in the uh, request uh, variable and uh, we will flush the client and we will compare this request uh, string with different type of uh, uh, command so for relay one on we will uh, define it as high for relay one off string we will uh, switch off the relay same way we are we have implemented four relay circuit and for controlling the fan we have chosen a uh, variable we will store different value integer values and we will use a switch case condition to control the fan speed uh, fan speed and uh, this is the portion which uh, uh, you need to have some basic knowledge related to designing the html page so here we have defined document type is html and uh, uh, here is the background picture uh, that you can uh, search in google any picture and uh, copy the link over here so it will directly uh, uh, bring the picture in 
from the internet so this is a simple uh, html code that you can easily understand these are the buttons four buttons and this is the fan animation that is uh, rotated in, as shown in the video and uh, these are the again four buttons for speed one and speed two and speed three and speed four and uh, that's all guys and uh, after that uh, after a compilation of all this project will display a message client is disconnected so this is the basic part uh, you can uh, use this code uh, without any change you just need to change this your wifi id and password and let's come to the connection diagram which we have used first of all we need to connect uh, our ESP8266 with the uh, Wi-Fi uh, 8 channel relay board so this is the connection diagram of uh, GPIO pins with the relay board so as I have demonstrated in my earlier video about connecting to a relay board so this is a simple circuit diagram so I have chosen these uh, GPIO pins because uh, uh, this GPIO pins work great uh, when I uh, reboot the uh, ESP8266 so you can choose any other GPIO pins as per your wish so this is a simple uh, back view of a switchboard so how it is connected is in this way uh, the AC supplies comes to here and here these are the switches manual switches so when we switch it on this uh, current passes through this to the ground so this led bulb is on this way all the switch works so what we will do is simply connect uh, another relay in parallel to these switches so uh, for any switch on condition this bulb will be switched on if manually switch on it will switch on the bulb and if relay is on this bulb will be on so in any case if your relay uh, ESP8266 and relay board electronic circuit is not working so you manually can switch it on with the help of these manual switches so this is the whole circuit diagram uh, as I described earlier about connecting the ES node MCU Wi-Fi module with the 8 channel relay board so this is the fan regulator that I shown earlier uh, let me show it once again okay so this is the fan regulator portion uh, let me show the main picture actually What I did is uh, simply I removed the manual switch which is present over there. After removing this uh, manual uh, rotating switch, this is how a, it looks like. It is simply a uh, resistive circuit. So if you connect in this path, the fan will just uh, run a uh, bit faster. So so this is a, it, how it looks like. So uh, after removing all uh, the manual switch, these are the pins. So I have replaced with the relay four relays to uh, control the fan. So when current passes through this path, the fan runs a bit faster. When it passes through this path, it passes through a uh, resistive path, so the fan uh, runs a bit slower. So this is how uh, this relay is connected with the fan. So as I told you, uh, we have connected this uh, fan regulator with the 
we have to control the fan and remaining four bulbs are connected in this way in the OR gate configuration with this remaining four relays and uh, you can easily understand about this uh, configuration by following this simple circuit so this is the AC ground that is connected to this AC supply and this is the AC source that it comes and passes through this to this grounding circuit so just follow this uh, circuit diagrams and you will be able to connect uh, all these components so you can get all this information in my website that I have uh, attached in the description below so the website is inborngineers.890m.com so you can get all the latest updates and uh, detailed tutorial over there so that's all guys about the tutorial of the project So thank you guys for watching the video and if you really like the video please do hit like button and share it with your friends and if you have any doubts or suggestions please comment in the comment section below and uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe uh, to my channel and because I will be uploading few more videos related to this kind of things about and uh, my next video will be on controlling uh, the vehicle and controlling the air conditioner with a voice recognition method and uh, also controlling the room uh, RGB colored LEDs with the help of uh, your ESP8266 and, and Wi-Fi module so stay tuned to this channel and uh, for latest update so till then stay creative and be innovative guys thanks for watching the video I'm in love with the cold, cold.